Now this one's going to take a little bit of explaining. We have a marble, which has a mass of 100 grams. And when it's placed onto a spring and allowed to come to equilibrium, so all right here at rest, when the marble's placed on the spring and the spring comes to equilibrium, it depresses the spring by two centimeters. Now, some unseen hand pulls the spring down another three centimeters. And the question is, when the hand lets go, the spring is obviously going to launch the marble. The question is, how high is the marble going to reach? How high in the air is it going to go? Above the unstretched spring, so above this height. So what do we do? Well, the first thing we have to do, of course, is find the spring constant for the spring. And that's why I've told you this piece of information, that at rest, at equilibrium, the marble depresses the spring, the spring by two centimeters. So I can draw a free body diagram of the marble. Gravity, spring force up. And clearly, this thing is at rest, so A equals zero, so FK minus FG is equal to zero. So FK equals MG, but of course FK is KX, which equals MG. And that is X1, which is two centimeters. So K equals 0 0.1 kilograms, I've got to convert 100 grams to kilograms, times 9.8 divided by 0 0.02 meters, of course, which gives me 49 newtons per meter as the k value. So now I know the k value and I can go to the question of how high this thing is actually going to go when it's released. Important thing to point out, of course, is that when the object is pushed down all the way, what is x? Because the question is phrased the way I've drawn it here. It is then pushed down three more centimeters, of course. That means that x, let's call it x2, is actually 5 centimeters, which is an important thing to remember. So, how are we going to do this? Well, we're going to use conservation of energy. Which tells us that the total energy everywhere has to be the same. So the total energy the marble here has at the bottom, the total energy at the bottom is going to equal the total energy of the marble at the top, after it gets launched at the top. So, what is the total energy of the marble? Well, let's say at the bottom, the total energy is, of course, EG plus EK plus EE, the elastic energy. At the bottom, this thing is at rest, so the kinetic energy is zero. We have to decide where h is going to be zero, because we're talking about potential energy due to gravity. It's really more change in energy, so I've got to decide where I'm going to say h is zero. So I'm going to say here at the bottom that h equals zero. And by doing that, I can call that h1, say h1 equals zero. So v1 here equals zero, h1 equals zero. So the total energy is just the elastic energy, which is a half k x squared. And x, x1, I call that x2 here, is 5 centimeters. Let's get rid of that, and we'll change that to a 1, just so we don't confuse anyone. Okay. Now if I dump in some numbers, I get up, 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 0.06, 1, 2, 5 joules. Okay, and that's the total energy that this thing has at the bottom. That's not very difficult. It took longer to explain than to do. The total energy of this thing here, if I call h to zero, v is always zero, is obviously zero, so the only energy it has is the spring energy. What about at the top? Total energy is again potential energy, mgh, plus kinetic energy, a half mv squared, plus elastic energy, a half k x squared. But at the top of its flight, the potential energy, sorry, the kinetic energy again is going to be zero. So here, V equals zero as well. At the top of its flight, the spring has long been left, hopefully, so it's back at its original extension, so X is also zero. 
So this is quite simple too, because these two expressions are gone. And the total energy, which we already know is 0.065, just equals energy h. Of course, we're trying to find h, the height the marble reaches. So if I dump in what I know, 0 0.06125 is equal to 0.1 times 9.8 h, and I rearrange, I will get 0 0.0625 meters. Which of course is equal to 6.25 centimeters. Now, if this was the test, you would confidently write your sentence. You would say, therefore, the marble achieves a height of 6.25 centimeters, and you would get the answer wrong. Because unfortunately, the question specified what is the height above the unstretched spring? We called H0 at the compressed string, so the spring. So the question is saying, how high above this point does it go? I've got to subtract five centimeters, that's all. Not a big deal. That is the wrong answer. Well, it's not wrong, it's just not actually the answer to the question. We have to say the height above the unstretched spring is actually 6.25 minus five centimeters. So the actual answer to the question is 1.25 centimeters. All that work to launch a marble that high.